so after looking at properties and activation energy in part first here we are continuing the lecture 8th in part second section so it has been seen that some enzymes requires an additional helping partner in association with them to carry out the complete process means when this condition occurs that enzymes known as holoenzyme which contain a protein section and helping partner associated with them the protein section is known as apoprotein or an apoenzyme whereas the helping partner is known as prosthetic group when the prosthetic group is in organic in nature then that prosthetic group is known as coenzyme and many time the vitamin acts as a coenzyme and when that prosthetic group is in inorganic in nature for example metal ions then that prosthetic group is known as cofactor so the holo enzyme which shows the apoprotein or apoenzyme plus prosthetic group which is organic or inorganic in nature then only that holo enzyme can carry out the process of reaction when any reaction which is catalyzed by an enzyme as we have already seen that enzyme binds to that substrate and produces enzyme substrate complex which will be converted into the enzyme product complex and finally that enzyme will release those products so the enzyme substrate complex and enzyme product complex are known as reaction intermediates which occurs for a transient period or very short period of time whereas the substrate and their product are known as stable chemical species suppose we have a substrate which is of square shape and on which enzyme x shows its action and form the product which is a triangle in shape the product of one enzyme can be the substrate for other enzyme so it is shown here that the product which is formed by the enzyme x is used as a substrate by enzyme y so the after showing their enzymatic activity by enzyme y that product will be in circular in shape so that product will be again acts as a substrate for enzyme z and which will create the final product which is having some different shape you can notice here that from initial substrate to the final product there are several series or chain of reaction occurs which requires different different enzymes involvement where the product of each enzyme are known as intermediate product so the final product is different and intermediate products are different so the intermediate products are considered as a by product and which can be used for other purposes also so we have three step reaction here which is taken or carried by three different enzymes the overall reaction is known as pathway of reaction and if any step out of these three steps requires highest activation energy requirement then that step is known as rate limiting step of that pathway which can be any step out of these three steps let's discuss in short about the nomenclature and classification of an enzyme which is must to know part about enzymes naming of any enzyme is done on the basis of name of the substrate on which these enzymes shows their action by ending the name of substrate with ase as we have seen that uh, sucrase enzyme acts on sucrose so the name sucrose is taken and which is ended by the ase sometime naming is done on the basis of the activity shown by an enzyme for example whether they are cleaving the bond or joining the bond sometime the name given to an enzyme on the basis of chemical nature of its substrate and some enzyme shows alternative names also uh, after looking in short about their nomenclature let's discuss in detail about the classification of the enzymes one by one first class of the enzymes are known as oxidoreductase enzyme and the enzymes belonging to this class are involved in electron shifting from one molecule to the other molecule 
as represented here the shifting of electron shifts the charge on the molecule and these enzymes requires a coenzyme for their help such as nad or fad acts as a coenzyme we will be studying more about this enzyme in glycolysis tca cycle or amino acid metabolism in our later classes the next class in classification of enzyme is transferase enzyme the enzyme belonging to this class are involved in group shifting reaction process as shown in the given figure the group has been shifted from one molecule to the next molecule many times the transfer of phosphate group or methyl group is done by this enzyme we will be studying more about them in our signal transduction and molecular biology section the third class is a hydrolase enzyme the enzymes which are belonging to this class are using the water molecule for bond breaking purpose mainly the bond between carbon and carbon carbon and nitrogen and carbon and oxygen these enzymes have huge significance in metabolism as we have already discussed that bond breaking releases energy so these enzymes are generally involved in Uh, digestive processes and many other biochemical processes we will see about them in our upcoming lectures fourth class is a lyase enzyme so the enzyme belonging to this class shows tendency to add certain group between carbon and carbon or carbon and nitrogen or carbon and oxygen so they are responsible for creation of double bond between these atoms creation of double bond will certainly affect on the property of that molecule we will discuss about these enzymes in our lipid metabolism section the second last class of in enzyme classification is isomerase type of enzymes so the enzyme belonging to this class shows bond interchanging tendency so which result into the structural changes in the molecule and which is very important many isomers forms due to the activity of these isomerases types of an enzymes the last class in our enzyme classification is ligase enzymes the enzyme belonging to this class perform the molecule joining function mainly they joints the different different carbon atoms or carbon and nitrogen atom or carbon and oxygen atom together so they have great impact on dna and rna functions which we will discuss in molecular biology later uh, during referencing you must have heard about this isoenzyme or isozymes so what are these the isozymes are also called as alternative forms of the same enzyme means they catalyzing or acting on the same substrate and produces the product so differences in these enzymes which are catalyzing the same reaction differs in amino acid composition which is very little difference but still the difference is there another term is a pseudo enzyme the pseudo enzymes are look like an enzyme but they are not functionally active they are produced by the cell they are present in the cell but they are good for nothing they do not do anything now in bioinformatics they are exclusively studied because why they are in the cell when they are not doing anything so the finally we are coming to the inhibitors so the inhibitors are those molecules which affects the activity of an enzymes such as the poison acts as an inhibitor which blocks the activity of enzymes which may be the cause of death of that cell Uh, whatever we have studied in our part 1 and part 2 in enzyme study are just 10% of actual enzyme study so we have covered these points which are very essential in order to study about enzyme in reference books so in next videos we will discuss more in detail about the enzymes <music>